Tonight, CBS 17 is investigating after records uncovered a trend between domestic violence and more than 50 cold case rapes. I've been digging deeper into these crimes and the common link, as well as a new law now being proposed that would require more DNA to be taken upon arrest, not conviction. Pretty much. These stacked boxes are untested rape kits. Each one contains DNA evidence of an unsolved rape, and each one tells the story of a woman's nightmare. But what if state law could be changed, making it easier to connect the DNA in these boxes with rape suspects? Defense attorney Billy Richardson, who has defended rapists, says domestic violence is a warning sign. What we learned is there's a direct correlation between a, the, a rapist in a domestic violence charge. Pretty strong accusation, so we started digging into the numbers. Fayetteville PD's cold case sexual assault unit started back in June of 2015. We looked into every arrest they've made over the last five years. The unit has solved 51 cold case rapes. Of those 51, there are 28 suspects. Nearly half, 13, had prior domestic violence arrests and two others had a domestic violence report filed against them. That pattern has attorney Richardson, who is also a North Carolina state representative, drafting legislation to require DNA samples from suspects arrested for domestic violence. The legislation would allow for people who have been charged with the crime of, of domestic violence, either misdemeanor or felony, to be required to submit to a DNA sample. Richardson contends if the law had already been in place, it could have prevented several sexual assaults that Daryl Wayne Bowden and Johnny B. Green Jr. are now accused of. Bowden is charged with six rapes, but he had a domestic violence charge after police say he committed his second rape. Green is charged with 11 rapes, and he too was arrested for domestic violence after the second rape he's accused of. To just to explain exactly why we need to change the law. North Carolina Attorney General Josh Stein is in favor of this law. CBS 17's investigation into the Ramsey Street rapist allowed us to tell the story of two survivors, Kobe Hashin and Candace Castillo. Both women are actively fighting to get this law enacted, not for them, but for others. How many other women are going through the same thing and their attacker kind of has the same rap sheet? Um, it's very, it, it makes me angry. It makes me mad. Now, Richardson hopes to have the bill ready when the legislative session opens on January 21st. Now, we reached out to the ACLU about this, and they told us, quote, legislators looking to support survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence could consider expanding prevention programs and support services instead of expanding categories that allow for a person's genetic blueprint to be subject to invasive searches. You can find the full statement.